right here. that a statue wanted to touch them that's not a very nice statue I'm your Gibbs and we're gonna be playing Elephant's latest this is fear for sale city of the past I think this is the seventh game here let's have a look at more games here let's have a peek uh, oh wow it's actually one by one here so I'm not exactly sure I think it is the seventh I know they've made a whole ton of them. I actually enjoy their games. They have a slightly old school kind of feel to them. And uh, we're going to totally dive right into this right now. Uh, I am live streaming this, so for you folks that are with me live right now, I'm waving to all of you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We're going to have lots of fun over at Hitbox.tv and over at YouTube. For those of you who are watching this after the fact, way after the live stream, so sad for you, you missed a good time. Uh, don't forget I live stream on weekends, typically Saturdays and Sundays at 1 o'clock Toronto time. So I think we should go ahead and hit that play button. Look, kitty cat. Ooh, <laughs> I clicked it and it moved. So we've got a main story and a bonus chapter, which is nice. Looks like we've got some custom options here. So you can definitely see here, like, just definitely an old school kind of feel to it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hi, Emma. I've got a media assignment for you. I need you to head to the small town of Eastwood where people say sculptures have been coming to life and harassing them. I know it sounds far-fetched, but take a look at the sculpture I've sent you. This could be the biggest story Fear for Sales magazine's ever done. <laughs> a little tiny statue. We touched it. Oh, no. I trust you've received the sample I sent. One more thing. Eastwood's not exactly New York City. But don't worry. I sent along a good map. Good luck, Emma. I've never even heard of Eastwood. I'm glad he thought to include a map. Maps are always useful. So we're going to go ahead and do special features only. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I have enjoyed the Witch's Legacy series as well. Um... They have what are they have these little collectible things here, which aren't necessarily I don't know how to describe them. It's not like there's like 40 of one thing. There's like little sets of them, and then we get points where we can rank up our reporter. It's a little different. I like it. Like see for example, I just got oh yeah, actually that was a morphing object. Never mind. <laughs> We've got morphing objects too. So all sorts of stuff to kind of enjoy here. The art style is is really nice. Wait, is that a bobblehead Buddha or Buddha dog or something? So there you go. I think that would have been our first collectible. Let's go have a peek. Yeah, so we need a monkey, a bear, a dog, etc. So we're gonna go ahead and try and collect all the collectibles. We got a little CNN going on here. I love this fish tank, though. Look at the size of this thing. We have found a remote. This symbol indicates that an item that needs a little more work to use. So we're going to go ahead and grab those batteries out of there. Look at the, the magazine for one of their... I think I might have played this one. I can't recall exactly. But anyways, yes, we're going to go ahead and... Get that printed paper, please. Find all the parts. They only appear when the zoom is open. This is also standard Elephant action here. And grab that piece right there. We're good. 
Now we got a little. Ooh, who wants to play games? What is that game called with these letters with chips on it? And like they have numbers for each letter? Oh my gosh. Scrabble! That's what it was. <laughs> who wants to play a little Scrabble? Uh, and then we have ourselves a nice lighter here, which is going to be super helpful. I just want to touch the butterfly. Aww, the butterfly wants to play. Ooh, speaking of coffee, I'm just going to go ahead and have a slurp of mine. Mmm. Ah, uh, yeah, those fishies look awesome. Ooh, eat the candies, have the coffee. Dear Emma Roberts, thank you for your interesting articles. I always look forward to the new release of FFS Magazine. Fear for Sale Magazine, by the way. Because I love paranormal stories. I am wishing you every success. Your fan, Sam. Here I am with my boss, Stephen Parker. The day my first article came out. <laughs> I can play Witch's Legacy Slumbering Darkness? Wait a minute. Was Witch's Legacy with the ninja? With the sexy ninja? I can't remember now. Which one had sexy ninja? <laughs> That's neat. Nice. Look at that. This was a complex case at the hotel. Very good. That was the one I played last, wasn't it? Endless Sea. Nice. My works. Oh, look at these PDFs here. Fear for Sale, 13 keys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hey, that must mean we're playing Fear for Sale 7. This is neat. I think I own this one, but I don't... I, I think I might have played the beta for that one. I really need to go and, and have a deeper dive to some of these older ones for sure. This is nice. I like how they have this in here. It's very meta. Uh, so what else can we do? We can put some paper over there. And do we have to print anything? Is that the idea? Somebody has to turn off that TV or something. Okay, that was a little creepy. Yeah, lots of product placement for sure. Touch the statue. That was very ominous. I don't have the ability to cut that. Ooh, but we can melt it though. If you're hungry, you should go eat. Yum. Map is no good. Hmm. But I think I have a program on my laptop that will help me recover it. Oh, so we're gonna have to go and deal with our laptop, are we? I won't be able to find my way to Eastwood without a map. Let's scan it. Now, what was that password? Hmm, I think I left my cheat sheet in the bedroom. <laughs> don't, don't leave the cheat sheet in the bedroom. <laughs> Items that appear on the list in green require an interaction. Bird feeder. Reveal the hidden item by finding all the items listed below. Oh, little birdie. Okay, let the clicky clicky begin. Oh, I want one of these, uh, what are these? I want to say Nintendo stars. Does that make sense? A Nintendo star? Oh, it looks like we can switch the puzzles. Ah! Okay, what are you doing, game? Why do you keep pointing to that spot there? Okay. Elephant's on the shelf. Uh, what shelf? I say A all the time. I'm not sure why it keeps pointing down here. Oh, maybe because I, it wants me to find the heart? 
Is that kind of what you're trying to do, game? Okay, now you can use this item on the scene. I see. Okay, I think I got that now. Please allow me to do what I need to do. Oh, shed some light on the subject. Puppy dog. Ooh, kitty cat. Hi, like you. Elephant. Card and a fan. There's our fan, our card. Lots of masks are going to come in handy. Apparently that is not a mobile phone. I like that the bird is just chewing away at it. <laughs> Very nice music too in the background. I could cut it with something sharp. I need something sharp, game. Oh, there's our cell phone. I'll put that back there. Look at the little... I'm not even sure what that is. Is that like a teddy bear? Oh, here's our knife. Go ahead and cut that belt right there. The birdie is totally chewing on delicious seeds here. Now we got that. I should find all the pieces. And there's my password. That is quite a convoluted way to find my password. <laughs> 789065. I need to use the brush tool to get rid of the bad spots. Do I have to? Oh, I just have to click it. There we are. with the ghost boy I just saw a girl but oh it was a girl now she's it? vanished that was a ghost girl half a sign flashlight we have plus so we can actually go ahead and put our batteries in there I think there we go batteries go wait is that it ah I need a light bulb okay Whoa, that was a weird thing to let me click. <laughs> Why was I able to click that? Look at the little birdie! Oh, it's a light. look at how chubby that birdie is. I just want to play with the birdie. Play with me, birdie. I used to have a bird when I was younger and you would take showers with me. <laughs> okay, maybe that might be too much information. Forget I said that. Ah, uh, statue comes to life. Oh, oh, I think we could use a crowbar. We're gonna have to find one right away. What a prankster! I'll have to lure him out some other way. <gasps> Look at the puppy! Oh my goodness! Poor little puppy. It's scary. Puppy is scared. Attention! Eastwood is under quarantine. Residents must remain within the city limits, and Eastwood is off limits to guests until further notice. It's all dirty. Let's brush it then. The statue that was sent to me would fit here. Okay, let's fit it up. 
find the missing objects in the scene and place them in their correct spots. Okay, I think we can take care of that and that. Hmm. That building over there. Flowers go there. What else can we do? Uh, put that up there. And I think that's the last piece. Oh, no, we get to do it again. More, please. Clouds go there. She needs her purse. And a hammer for him. Why would they build this creepy statue? Where is this hammer now? Yeah, they look kind of angry at that statue, don't they? I don't want to skip. Ah, yes, there we are. Thank you, Devil Moon. Thank you. Devil Moon says, above the other guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is her hair like this? Here's a clue. Why is her hair like that? And I guess we're gonna go inside, because can. It's totally the grudge. Maybe the girl behind the statue. I'm not sure where she went. What's with the creepy googly eyes here? I want to click them all. Why are these eyes watching us? Okay, that actually is a little unnerving. Huh. I could color the picture with crayons if I knew the right colors. Well, let's go find out what this is all about. Yeah! Yeah, nope, that... I would agree, the statue is creepy. There's like even eyes hiding in the bush. Whew. Evelyn Rogers Souvenir Shop. Let's use a staff for that, maybe? Haha. -ha. Got some silk. Where's her prince? Good question. Oh, that was a collectible, was it? Okay. And there's my light bulb. Her necklace has been taken. Oh, poor thing. Huh. Somebody's watching me. These eyeballs are kind of all over there. Let's go this way. It's a puppy dog! Ooh, that's an hungry, hungry dog. I'll have to distract it with something. How about with a roll of tape? No, let's have a look at our map here. So all morphing and collectibles are found. Ooh, look at that, we're doing good here. But we have available actions, so we'll go back here. So, flashlight, silk, tape, plaque. Hmm. Aw, oh, thank you very much, Leslie, for following. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I wonder if the puppy dog would like to play with a flashlight. Or tape. Or silk. Or a plaque half. Or an end. I uh, can't even say it. Ornamental key. Oh, that's kind of creepy that that sign just changed. Welcome to Eastwood. You will never escape. You will not escape. Little birdie, be my friend. So what exactly do you want me to do here, game? Something over here, apparently. Aha! It's so dark, we can't see. Got myself some crayons. Shaped like a butterfly. Sing like a bee. Oops! <laughs> Why did that thing crack? Aww. We broke it. 
Well, if I go here, I don't think we know how to color it, but we have the crayons. 